I really have like no memory. I have, I have no memory for like what six months back before it. But I, from what I know of, is I was driving home from soccer practice one evening, and I or one afternoon, and I was hit by an eighteen-wheel truck. Well, I first met Amanda in her hospital room at Braintree Rehabilitation Hospital. It was about three weeks after her injury. She had had a, a horrible injury, a very severe injury. She was brain injured um, and was unconscious at the scene. I played lacrosse, I swam, I played softball. I had, I had the best life. She was in a state we now call minimally conscious state. Um, she was just starting to maybe move the right side of her body, but she was completely paralyzed on the left side of her body. One third, one half of people with that kind of injury uh, succumb to the injury and don't survive. I couldn't go back to the school that I had been going to originally. But luckily, um, Amanda and Amanda's family found uh, Ivy Street School. At Ivy Street, what makes us different than, than other facilities is that we specialize in treatment of brain injury. We need uh, places that have the expertise, the skills, who have organized systems uh, for treating young people with brain injury, and there aren't very many. And uh, one of the best ones is the Ivy Street School. It's, uh, in some sense, a very inclusive facility because everyone can look at the person sitting next to them and say, we're, we're going through similar things. And they have a lot of trouble trying to uh, manage themselves in a complex world. Anybody, any child or any human that gets into this kind of situation, really, even if they don't show it, they're very angry inside. Like, I didn't realize how angry I was. The Ivy Street School was the right place at the right time for Amanda, as it is for so many young people with brain injury. One of the amazing things about Ivy Street School is the different types of therapies and the programs and the counseling they provide. We have occupational therapy, uh, physical therapy, speech therapy, uh, special educational uh, uh, service providers, teachers, to teaching assistants. We have uh, social workers for counseling. We just try to bring it all together to, to meet everyone's needs. The family becomes a part of that and becomes a part of the Ivy Street family, if you will. Families uh, are at the heart of what we do at Ivy Street. Uh, without the support and uh, alliance with the families, we feel like there could be no success for students. Amanda, through Ivy Street's guidance, went out in the world, lived in her own place, uh, managed her own place, managed her finances. The first like real job that I had after I left Ivy Street was working for the Boston Ballet. Amanda looked around and what the Boston Ballet offered and said, well, but they have nothing for people who are challenged with disabilities. How about an adaptive ballet class? Ultimately, Amanda became an advocate for people with disabilities. The bill that um, I have, I'm trying to pass is Bill S-516, and it just states that when an individual gets injured, their health insurances should cover aqua therapy she got one of the representatives interested in this. A bill was written, uh, and she's been working hard um, at getting this uh, bill passed uh, through the state legislature. And aqua therapy was something I received when I was at Braintree, and it helps you regain your mobility because I had absolutely no mobility. I was in a wheelchair. I felt immediately how passionate Amanda felt about this, but I also had my children in the 90s got sick, and one of them was left in a wheelchair for a couple of years. Knowing Amanda's determination, uh, I'm sure the bill will be passed in the near future. And she works for us now, which is an amazing thing. I work at MAV in Watertown. I'm a vocational counselor. Amanda has been here for three years, maybe a little bit more. Um, she's become such an essential piece of our day services here at MAB. I love, love, love what I do. I, I love, I love my job. Amanda's my hero because she's already seen in her young life things that I haven't had to face yet. There are too few of places like Ivy Street. Uh, there are so many people with brain injuries that could benefit from the kind of programming that Ivy Street offers. 
I think that uh, the school the, obviously provides the skills and the, the, certainly the training because Amanda is now a pretty focused young woman. That was the time that I needed help the most and I think Ivy Street School was the perfect place for me to come. I don't think that there could have been a better place.